This is a new addition to the Ibanez Sound Gear series, a five-string multi-scale with Fishman pickups and a sweet two-tone metallic finish. It's a chameleon in sound and it looks. Let's check it out. everyone, welcome to Base the World. My name is Gregor Fries and today I'm once again accompanied by my friend Sophie Chassé. The sound gear series from Ibanez is huge. You can get everything from beginner's basses for a few hundred bucks up to over-designed pro versions, which are a lot more sophisticated. This multi-scale is definitely of the second type. <laughs> difference between similar sound gear models is the electronic configuration. The SRMS725 comes with two Fishman pickups, which are amongst the most versatile you can get. With the little toggle switch next to the pickup balance control, you can get three different sounds. They call it voice select switch and it offers number one, a passive sound called classic that's fat and round. Number two is an active sound made for full frequency response and full dynamics. Number three is active again, but comes with a more classic sounding mid control vibe. When you pull out this volume control, you get these three sounds again, but this time as great sounding single chords, which make this bass the chameleon it is. Or chameleon, as Ted Mosby would say. Of course, that's not it yet. It's an Ibanez, so we get an active 3 one cube with basses, mids and treble to shape the sound even further to your needs. The preamp also comes from Fishman and it's an interesting design. Basses and treble are what you would expect, but the mids are centered at 630Hz, which allows you to make this bass sound a lot more old school than it obviously is. Enough about the electronics, now let's talk about the bass itself and let's start with the most important part, the multi-scale neck. It goes from a standard 34 inch scale for the G string up to a 35 and a half inch scale for the B string. Compared to some other multi-scales, these are rather conservative numbers, which is great news for everyone who has tried one, but didn't like the sometimes kinda extreme feel of these necks. This feels pretty much like a normal bass. Yes, the frets aren't parallel as for example on my personal sound gear bass. But if I blindfolded you and gave you the space to try, I'm sure many wouldn't even notice there's something different going on. What's important is, the effect is still there. The B string sounds as strong as all the other strings. Ibanez is using their own MR5S bridge on this bass. It comes with a 16.5mm string spacing, but allows you to change that by 1.5mm in both directions. These bridges are great, I like them a lot. Another new features are the tuners. These are so called ratio machine heads by Craftech, and they're awesome. Each tuner has an individual ratio, so the same amount of winding causes the same amount of pitch going up or down. A little detail that makes this bass feel even more premium. <laughs> Now finally let's go through the core specs real quick. The body is made from Okume, which is similar to mahogany. The boulder neck is constructed from five pieces of maple and wenge and there is it again, the fretboard is made from panga panga. The panga panga fan club amongst our followers will be delighted. I've mentioned this at the beginning but I'll mention this again. I love this finish and I actually looked it up, it's called BCM which stands for blue Chameleon. I mean blue chameleon. Uh, what a coincidence. I should become some sort of a base medium. I can guess colors right. Uh, what a gift. Useless, but a gift nonetheless. But enough about uh, me. Uh, this base feels amazing, as all sound gear bases do. And it has its own sound. Uh, you've heard it, now you can make up your own mind. 
that's it from me. Thanks for watching. Here's another Ibanez video. Here's a merch shop and here's me saying sayonara. Facebook, bro.